Thank you for joining us for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight, the Monday Morning Pulse Report for seafood purchasers. Some fast facts to start this week. The Bristol Bay King crab quota dropped 47% this year to 7.8 million pounds. The fishery has been trending downwards for several years now. On the other hand, the 2011-2012 snow crab quota in the Bering Sea has been set at just under 90 million pounds, a monster increase over last year. This fishery opens on October 15th and really gets going in January. And this week our feature story is all about Atlantic salmon. The Chilean aquaculture industry has made an impressive comeback. 2011 salmon production levels are equivalent to those seen prior to the ISA virus outbreak of 2007. Chile's salmon exports are expected to reach $3 billion this year. That's about half a million metric tons. As a result, it is not surprising that Atlantic salmon prices have plummeted and are having a profound effect on the salmon market. The lowest price I've heard is $2.70 a pound for 2 to 3 pound fresh trim sea fillets in Europe. Prices on frozen Atlantics in North America are a bit higher at $3.25 per pound, but this is, a, this is still more than $3 cheaper than the same cut of frozen sockeye fillets. Which are, currently, which are currently selling at $6.30 a pound. I've heard prices as high as $4.25 a pound in the U.S., but it's unlikely these will stay that high much longer. The disparity between farmed and wild salmon prices is not sustainable either, and the long-term forecast for wild Pacific salmon is that the prices will soften substantially. Chile has ambitious production plans for the next few years. Exports may reach $5 billion in as little as three years. Chilean salmon is ex exported not only to North America, but to 102 countries worldwide. Japan is one of those countries, and that country where consumers have taste preferences for both farmed Chilean coho and wild sockeye. An influx of cheap coho could drastically change things for sockeye in this market. Frozen sockeye exports from the U.S. to Japan totaled 13 million kilos in 2010. This is on par with the export volumes prior to the ISA outbreak, but the value of frozen sockeye exports, which is indicative of price, increased by 15 billion. Steep competition with Chilean coho would force Alaskan suppliers to cut prices. Next up, there's a shortage of twice frozen Pacific cod. Increased demand in Asia for cod raw material is keeping product overseas, and as a result, fillet prices in North America have risen 5% in the last month. And finally, the, the final figure on Alaskan salmon landings is estimated at 172 million fish. This is about 12% lower than had been expected. A season highlight was the 59 million pinks landed in southeast Alaska, where just 55 million had been expected. On the other hand, the Bristol Bay sockeye salmon catch was 27% below projections. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.